<laughs> oh, oh lordy 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 well here we are again i am thrilled to death <laughs> <We're> <laughs> I am too. we just uh, just talking silly stuff I waiting know. to go on we were talking i'll tell you what let's tell what we were talking about <laughs> we were talking about this this uh tablecloth that used to be here the blue one and how we don't think we'll ever go back to it again and, and and Laban allowed us to how he thinks we ought to burn it, and I said I thought we already had. <laughs> it's got little holes. What, Millions what, what was of it holes. that we had on? It was a polyester cloth, naturally. It was a polyester cloth, and we put some kind of grease on it one day, and, and it burned it was, holes. It just, <laughs> billions of holes came in it. I think we ought to go out out back and and burn it right over the site of where we buried that pan that bad, that <laughs> a few year. years ago. <laughs> Oh, welcome to Cooking Cheap. Larry Blind, Laban Johnson, nice to have you in with us today. It certainly is. It's a rainy, nasty day where we are right now, but we're going to brighten up everything with recipes from Spain. Yeah. You know, I thought instead of giving some kind of uh, witty suggestion for, for things, that I'd talk just a minute about the cuisine de Spain, de España. All right, okay. You know, Spain down there on the Iberian Peninsula. Did you know that was the name of it? No, I, the Iberian I, I'm Peninsula. not big on geography. And um, has been occupied by various uh, places, uh, mainly uh, the Moors. And so a lot of their cooking is. Oh, I knew the Moors. They used yeah, to live uh -huh. next to me. And yeah. Sam and Alice. Gary Moore, right? and uh -huh. all of them. <laughs> yeah. Gary Moore and all right. of them. Yeah. And so uh, their cooking is uh, influenced by a lot of uh, things that you might not ordinarily uh, think just from the land itself, like a lot of olives and, and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. we get a lot of ersat Spanish food around, uh, Spanish, well, Spanish What is food. ersat Spanish food? <laughs> <laughs> what does this mean? Phony baloney stuff. We don't get the real thing. Oh, oh. And Such as, could you give us an example of Ertzot Spanish food? Ertzot Spanish I can't Spanish food. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we, we get some particularly bad olives. What? Have you ever noticed that? You don't, I mean, you know, you get those little olives, the little cocktail olives that have got the pimento ram down their throats. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but you know, to get really good Spanish olives mm -hmm. in oil, mm -hmm. they're hard to find in hmm. these parts. So we get fake ones. Yeah, we get fake ones, or we don't use them at all. And I don't think we're going to be using them at all today. Do you know what I'm going to do on this program what are you today? What are you for my recipe? Doing? What? Uh, they're called Porky's Espanol. Oh. Uh, and I have brought along oh. for the occasion. Just, I'm always trying to, being that we're doing this thing around the These, world. Some of Larry's people. Uh. <laughs> I'm always trying to be in character on this program. Right. It's I so soft. You want to touch it? Yes. <laughs> 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 well, anyway. That looks like the end of a ham bone. <laughs> <laughs> well, it kind of basically is. Uh, yes. <laughs> if you get right down to it. So anyway, I'm doing Porky Espanol. And I'm doing uh, a real nice Spanish type rice because rice is very important. Rice is nice. That's rice what is they nice say. in Spain. Yeah. Well, let's go do it, shall okay. we? <laughs> With your nose, okay. your rubber nose. I can't wait for the day you take off that nose you're wearing now. I have to drop some success rice in here because the water's boiling. I need about two cups of rice, and I, I'm going. I'm going lazy today. I'm I didn't going, know you could saute that stuff. Oh, you put it in the water. <laughs> I'm going with that stuff. All right, that's about two. One of these bags of of this type of rice is about uh, two cups of rice. We caught Bly sauteing a bag of success rice one time. <laughs> Don't work. <laughs> yeah, well, it said throw the rice in the pan and uh -huh. fry it. <laughs> so that's what I did. And. I'm, I'm just going to be chopping for the first few moments. Uh, things can be a little choppy around here for the first oh, couple right. of moments of our program. I am uh, going to be chopping up uh, uh, some onions and some celery and this uh, very uh, fresh looking. Uh, <laughs> oh, I got a better pepper than you I did. I know, my pepper isn't quite as fresh as it should ought to be. But uh, that's the way it goes. i tell you the truth. I've had it laying around for a while and it looks like rubber. Look at it. Looks like rubber. So anyway, uh, the reason it looks like that's because it's been laying in my refrigerator for a couple of weeks. But I wanted to use it up because this is 
<laughs> this is cooking cheap, and, and sort of the object of the game is to use some of the stuff you've got around the house. Right, before yeah. it goes bad and you have to throw it out. That's right. Feel guilty about like all this. the starving children. Mm. Mm. Well, and So I'm going to chop for okay. a while. Well, oh, well, wait a minute. Hang on a second, and I'll throw it all over to you. All right. I might even throw it all over on you. <laughs> We're going to take some chops, boneless and with very little fat on them, of pork. And I'm putting them in a real hot oil. Woo! And we're gonna brown those things. Yow! There you go. Now, we got three things going at one time here. It's just amazing how I can do this. We're doing our rice over here in pot A, and we're doing those over there, a little salt and pepper on those two, and I'm going to be chopping while all that's going on. Now I should think that that should be enough for any one person to do, so I'm now going to, I'm, I'm going to turn it all over to Mr. Johnson. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Bly, and I'm doing the same thing. I've got to chop stuff too, but uh, what I've got, I've got uh, a quarter of a cup of onion and a half a stick of margarine over here. And I'm now throwing a half a cup of chopped green pepper into it. And I'm also going to put in a, a chop, a, a half a cup of chopped celery. And this, like Larry's stuff, this is some celery that's about to go over to the other side, to the land of dead celery. And so uh, I'm just going to chop it up real fast using one of these smart little knives that one of our viewers sent in. Sent us in the mail because it was the only one I could find when I got here today. And these vegetables are gonna saute in a half a stick of margarine for 10 minutes. And they've already got a, a good start on it. And in my other pan, I've got some rice cooking, but I'm using some that I had that I wanted to get rid of that is not the bag kind, it's just the regular loose rice. And there it is, and it's finished. So- Loose I'm, rice. I'm, loose, yes, you remember her. <laughs> <laughs> she was a very, very loose woman. Now, here's my onions and my pepper and my celery. And let's see, I've got some garlic around here somewhere that I'm going to mash into submission and put in there. Ha! Didn't do so good, did it, huh? Well, Wait. It, no, it mashed. Just enough to loosen up the juice. That's all you want to do, just loosen Yeah, and I put that in with it. Let me turn the heat down a little bit here. And now I'm going to add these mushroom caps sliced up. And this is a sauce that we're going to put over some rice. So it's not that Spanish rice that you get sometimes. It's been all cooked up and just real gloppy. This is a, a rice with a, a, a sauce on top of it. And we're gonna do a couple of shortcuts on it here. Let me just keep going with these. These are just regular little mushrooms that are getting chopped up. This dish has got several parts to it, but then most good things do. And in another little pan while I'm doing this, I have got um, uh, the other half stick of margarine. Excuse me, I got and, in your uh, shot. It's going to get fiery hot here in a minute. And we're going to do one of the terrifying things that people, I think, sometimes are afraid of. We're going to do a, a sort of a brown butter uh, thing with some flour, and it's going to have to get real brown. And sometimes people are afraid they're just going to burn it beyond recognition. But if everybody will watch, I'll show you what we're going to do over here. And let's get that a little hotter. Now. This part of the dish is going to cook, as I said, for about 10 minutes, just until the vegetables are transparent, cooked just a little bit. There they are. And while they are going, I'm going to prepare this tomato. Now, the recipe calls for, for a can of tomato puree. And I made a dish, and I was just going to tell about it at home, and then I forgot to bring it with me to the to our TV kitchen today. Oh, so how embarrassing, I'm, I know, it's just hopeless. I'm just so hum humiliated, I can't tell you, at my own stupidity, but that's the way it is. At least I'm big enough to admit it. 
<laughs> yeah, you're big enough, and all right. I can admit a lot. Oh, good. I'm glad you got the can opener. Yeah, I do. Well, while you're doing that real okay. quickly, just let me show sure. the folks at home. As you can see, we have browned these lately on the outside. These chops have been browned very nicely. Isn't that pretty? Nice brown. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take them out of there. And we're going to set them in the bottom of our dish. It should be really a, 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 a long, flat baking dish. And I didn't have one today, so I'm going to have to put them in this rounded baking dish, which doesn't do it justice, but that's the way it goes. And set those out in there. If you had a long baking dish, you'd set each one of these aside by itself. Now, what you do while this oil is hot, the oil that you have just fried your chops in. You've got to strike while the oil is hot. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, we've got to take onion. I don't know how much. I just did one. A quarter of a cup. Small diced onion will be fine. And some celery, about a third of a cup of that. And in a couple of minutes, I'm going to do up some... some I'm going to take this this uh, pepper and you just go right on ahead and start sauteing that in the very juices and, and everything that you just did the chops in. And while that's going, uh, I'm going to chop up this green pepper. So I'll be with you in just a minute. Now back to Laban. Oh. Oh no. I was having a little Johnson is eating. bite of celery. So good. Now here's my butter, my margarine, and I'm going to put Two tablespoons of flour, and I got some new flour this week because that stuff we had last week was buggy. You remember? Yeah. You know, I have an aunt, an aunt who says that doesn't matter because after you bake it for a couple of <laughs> 40 minutes, it couldn't be nothing to live through that anyway. She says. <laughs> and she goes on with it. But I tell you what, if you don't watch your flour, it will get weevils in it. It sure will. Is that like bowl weevils? Well, the last time I saw the bowl wheel, <laughs> remember that song? Now, I've got the flour and the butter in here. Now, this has got to get dark brown. Am I so blue? blue? Am I blue? Yes, I'm blue. Now, it's beginning to color up here, as they say. Color up here? Yeah. This, uh, And you have to keep stirring it around because you don't want it to, to burn. You just want it to color. And it's beginning to change from a yellow color. It's beginning to get a kind of an ecru. A what? Ecru. Ecru. You sure ecru. are throwing a lot of big $20 well, words just, around well, here. Well, you know. I, Stick to your basic color. Well, you know, earlier, Larry and I were in a meeting with some Ignats oh. earlier. And <laughs> today, <laughs> that's and, a, sort of like Ignorama. Uh huh. And so I decided I needed to try to get a little culture into my life today. I'm putting, put I have chopped up that poor old tired green pepper and I have now chopped that and I'm putting that in there with those onions and the celery. And my flour and butter is getting browner and browner. Oh well look isn't that an attractive shot. We can it work really from is. any number of pots uh -huh. and pans here. Mm -hmm. This is incredible. But anyway. Nice going up there. That's real. Now, the margarine and flour is getting, now it's turning real oh, fast. Oh, that is pretty. Now, is that what, now is that a roux this or a gravy? A this is a roux. It doesn't become, what is the difference between put, a roux and a gravy? roux is just the flour and the butter, and then it becomes a gravy or a sauce when you add something to it. Because hmm. the gravy is really a sauce. Now, it's getting browner and browner. You know that more people probably have problems with, with that right there. Mm -hmm. than just about anything in the kitchen. And it smells heavenly at this It really point. does. You smell it? Yeah. A lot of and people cannot make a roux or a gravy. Look how fast that's turning brown. Mm -hmm. That's pretty. That's pretty. That's pretty. Real pretty. Pretty. All right. Lovely. Now it's, it's getting darker and darker brown. And I'm going to add some more stuff to this here in a few minutes. All right. Is this... All right, now this is a nice dark brown now, and I'm going to add it to my vegetables. Oh, boy, look at this. It looks so good. And I can't wait for them to go wash this pan. Because you've just baked it on real big time. Well, it'll, uh, it'll loosen up. Excuse me. Now, stir that around down in here with these vegetables. 
And now this is where I should add a can of tomato puree, but I don't have it, so I'm adding a chopped fresh tomato. And this will change the character of the sauce a little bit, but not a whole lot. Ooh, what a mess. What a mess. And, uh, well, <laughs> what? What? Excuse me. What? Well, so is your old lady. <laughs> I opened up a door and she came flying out. I don't understand. <laughs> I'll swear you can't she, do it. She anything. came, that's one of the few times she's ever come in on the wrong Mr. Cue. Mr. Q. <laughs> old fool. Hand me the can opener. <laughs> <laughs> she like to scared me to death. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm going to add a can of beef broth to this. All right. Um, While you're doing that, boys and girls, this uh, rice, which has to cook in this bag for 10 <laughs> minutes, you stick it down that boil in water, it has done done its thing. So I'm going to take it out and drain it for a couple of minutes because we want it drained real good. Or as they say, <laughs> where I come from, make sure you drain it real good. Mm-hmm. And we, we drain that out real good because we're going to need it for the rest of the dish. Obviously, I didn't just do this for the fun of it. Ouch! So I'm going to take it over here and drain it for a little bit. And while he's draining that, my, I've added a can of beef broth to this, and I'm going to put in a little bit of salt. I put that boiling water in that pan you just put back there, and someone who has to wash these dishes is going to be real pleased with me. Because oh. you know that'll just loosen all that stuff up uh -huh. while it's sitting there. Let's hope it does. And we're going to put some pepper into this. And if you want to, you can put some sugar in this too. How it, much? Oh, a tablespoon. Yeah. And I'll do that in a minute. Now, you want to get this to come up to a real fine boil. And it's going to do that. And then it needs to cook for an hour, and it will make a lovely, nice, thick, and wonderful sauce. Now, today it's not going to be as thick and wonderful because it's not going to get to cook for an hour. but. Nevertheless, it'll be very presentable. We're not going to have to eat something raw, are we? Oh, I hope not. That would be terrible. Okay, now what I'm going to do, now I have cooked this, I have sauteed this on top of the stove for about 10 minutes. A combination of onions and celery and uh, green pepper. Now we're going to take just ordinary canned whole tomatoes. And we're going to put that in there. And what I do after I get them in there is I sort of cut Cut them open a little bit, chop them just a little bit. They don't have, they can be very rough chopped. They don't have to be chopped very fine. If they did, you'd chop them before you put them in there. And just take those, and we'll saute that for just a few minutes. It doesn't really take an awful lot of time, but just a few minutes would do that. And sort of blend those flavors. Now at this point, you may want to add just a little bit of seasoning, a little salt and pepper. I have already, of course, salt and peppered the chops. So you already have some in there to some degree. Take just a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper and let that cook for just a couple of minutes. And in a few minutes, we will add all this stuff together in the bottom of this pan and it should be real lovely. Mm. Now, Larry, I've added a, a teaspoon of sugar to this and you see it's beginning to thicken as it heats up. And as I said, ordinarily, you want that on. I want it off. Right. Oh, okay. Ordinarily what? Ordin ordinarily, this would, uh, as I said, cook for an hour, but it's going to thicken up by itself right now a little bit. So it, it'll be good. It won't be as good as, as it would have been if I had messed up and left it at home. But uh -huh. that's the way it goes. Well, maybe we could all go and to your house oh, when the show be, is I, over. You know and, I'd love to have everybody and, come over for Spanish rice. Sure, find hey, out. come on over and have some Spanish <laughs> rice. <laughs> and find out what this would have been like if you would have uh -huh. done it correctly on the program. Right. You're all invited to Laban's house. All we'll right. We'll put his address up on the screen in all just a couple right. of minutes. Don't rub it in. His Don't telephone number feel. is area code 703 uh, let's show the folks while I'm waiting for this stuff to cook just a little bit more here. Your phone number and address. <laughs> let's show the folks what these recipes are all about. Oh, that's right. That's your cue. Fancy style Spanish rice calls for a quarter cup of chopped onion, half cup chopped green pepper, half cup chopped celery, He's blind. a clove of garlic, four or five sliced mushrooms, a stick of margarine, two tablespoons of flour, a 10 and Ten and a half ounce can of tomato puree, one and three quarters cups of beef broth, a t 
teaspoon of sugar and <laughs> teaspoon half, a quarter teaspoon of salt and some black pepper and cooked rice. I, I can't believe even you're see. blind as a bat. No, I can't see. I am, and that's it. The porky is espanol. Two cups of cooked rice, which we have get waiting to go right now. Four lean pork chops. One tablespoon of margarine. I don't know where that goes because I haven't put it in anything yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, just I think noticed. it sauteed the onions out. Yeah, I believe I could have used it for the sauteing operation. A uh, quarter cup of diced onions, third cup of diced celery, two tablespoons of diced green pepper, one and a half cups of canned tomatoes. That's about one of those cans. One and a half teaspoons of salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper and a little bit of chopped parsley to put on it. Okay, now here's what we do with this. You, do you need to go with yours right no, now? Because no, it looks no, like no. it's bubbling. Mine is, is bubbling and I'm just cooking it into a thicker sauce to serve over the rice later on. So you just go right ahead. I came across a very interesting trivia question today. What fungus is most used in salads? What fungus is most used in salads? Well, out of my refrigerator, no, <laughs> mushrooms. You're right. You're absolutely uh -huh. correct. There's a fungus among us. Jim knew that. Mm -hmm. You know why first. you and I would know that? Why? Since we're the great mushroom experts of, of this all area. time. We do a, a mushroom foray every year. Okay, now let me go back and get my celery, my celery, my rice, I mean. Oh, me. All that just looks like it's going to be real tasty. It is going to be. Now this is so much more of a beautiful presentation if you have a nice long pan where you can put each one of these side by side because what you do is on top of each one you put a little rice, lunk, but see here we're just kind of like throwing it over them all which is not a very pretty presentation, but who cares. So anyway, <laughs> put that on there and then what you would do is on each one of them you put a gob of that. But what we're going to do, because it all goes in one thing, is I'm just going to go ahead and, and top the rice. I'll just make it like a nice big casserole. Put that on top. Isn't that pretty? It's just lovely. And then what you do is you cover it, put it in the oven, 350 degrees for one hour. It serves four people. Do it in a longer pan. It's much prettier. It's very lovely. And I did remember to bring my... Uh, oh. Fine presentation in from last night. Oh, night's we're all so excited at because, home. Because and, oh, by the way, do you may well put a little chopped parsley on each one of those. I didn't remember to bring my chopped parsley today. So. Oh, I guess you forgot something too, <laughs> huh? So there won't mm. be any on there. Forgot right? your parsley. Yes. Couldn't do your dish right because you forgot parsley. your parsley. Mm. Well, my sauce is However, really good. I didn't forget it in that which is in the oven right oh, now. Oh, good. Which I'm going to get out. Because we only got a couple of minutes, right. we need to get it out. Well, I'm going to, while you're doing that, I, I've got my rice all done, and I'm going to take it over and put it on the table so that we can pour this fiery hot sauce over top of it in a minute. Am I blue? I don't know. Am I blue? I don't know. Ouch. Now, be careful. I'm coming at you with a hot one here. <coughs> oh, doesn't it look pretty? Well, yes, it does. It's real lovely. I don't now know where to see. set anything here. <laughs> if we don't get over there, we're never going to get taste any of this stuff. Well, let's see. I want to dish out some of this over your... Uh, My dead body? Mm-hmm. Because I, I couldn't find a, a big spoon that wasn't slotted. <laughs> Excuse me. We're just trying to work around ourselves here. This is an awful lot of rice for one meal, it seems to me like. Mm -hmm. I think that we're going to get our fair share of starch today. Let me put this. Let me put this big back clump over of here. stuff on your plate in a beautiful presentation of tomato. Well, golly, Larry, that is stuff. lovely. Oh, it's just pretty. Real I can pretty. Hardly wait. When well, I'll try your. What mm. is this? That's the deluxe Spanish rice. Deluxe Spanish rice. Mm-hmm. Oh, this would have been it has great. Has a lovely smell to it, and an equally wonderful taste. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
And the piggies are wonderful too. Piggies are? Mm-hmm. Ooh, we've got ourselves a fine Spanish meal today. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm. Si, si, senores, si, senoras, si, senoritas, si, si, muchachos, si, muchachas. Watch si, your mouth. Todos los... I can't even remember what I was going to say. Mm -hmm. Well, what were you trying to say? Well, I was just saying it's so good, everybody. I was just Why going just on and that? on and in Spanish. Well, that's the way it goes. Well, listen, we've got to go, but we'll be back next week. And next week, we forgot Miss Witch whispered we're going to Germany. Oh, yeah. Cook sisters were taking a siesta. Bye. Bravo. If you're a fan of Cookin' Cheap and would like copies of the recipes, make a $60 pledge of support to Blue Ridge PBS, and we'll say thank you with the new Cookin' Cheap cookbook. This hardcover three-ring binder is chocked full of over 930 recipes that were presented on the show by Laban and Larry. In addition, you'll also receive instructions on how to download a digital copy of the cookbook to use on your favorite device. Pledge for your cookbook now at blueridgepbs.org or by calling 866-624-8366. Thank you.